morning everybody, John and Egan here, located near uh, Cleveland, Ohio Airport. I am driving today on the uh, Ohio Turnpike, that's Interstate uh, 80. Today once again is January 20, uh, 30, let me double check that. Yeah, today is Thursday, January 30th, 2014. Local time here is 9.09. Temperature according to blue is 17 degrees Fahrenheit. According to Google, it is 12 degrees. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Look at this beautiful day. Gotta love it when the sun is behind you, right? Right now I am 457 miles away to Milton, Wisconsin. I will be traveling on Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, and then Wisconsin. I'm hoping that uh, when I get there today they will take it off. Even though my delivery appointment is not until tomorrow. But who knows? They have. Uh, they're only getting a partial load. I have one load. Well, they sh they loaded me one time, and one load divides into three loads. So I have three drops. The first drop is in Milton, Wisconsin. Second drop is in uh, Dubuque, Iowa. And uh, the third and final stop, finals in Rochester, Minnesota. something today that said uh, if we meet and you forget me you lost nothing but if you meet Christ and forget him you lost everything something to think about Brian Rain Oh, my fellow brother, you, sir, are a very, very good encouragement to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Many of you out there are, you know, that's something that I kind of, kind of like cherish because uh, I may not have that many viewers and subscribers out there, but I think for the most part, most of you are very kind and very loyal and for some reason, I don't know why you guys keep following me. <laughs> I don't know why, but God bless you for it. My 
my feet right now are, feel like popsicles and icicles. Fish. For some odd reason, I, I saw this picture in my mind. A snowman built on the side of the road hitchhiking and on a sign that said Florida you get it this winter has been too cold even for snowman is hitchhiking down to Florida How's everybody doing up there? By the way, I special a special shout out to uh, Armin, Miskik, and uh, Malik. Hello Malik, I am sorry I forgot your name. I am very, very bad on remembering names. So Malik, your, uh, your uncle is your buddy, huh? You guys are very close. I once had a nephew. Oh, I do have a nephew. When he was a little boy, we were very, very close. And uh, we were just like you and your uncle. But he's all grown up now. He's even bigger than me and stronger than me now. must really love your uncle, huh, Malik? Now, isn't this a beautiful and gorgeous day? You guys can agree with that, right? It is a beautiful day. The day the Lord has made. have considered blue a she. Blue is a she. I think blue is also a name of a girl, right? There was a subscriber back a while ago, Blue Wolf. She was from Germany, I believe.
hey, you guys want to see something neat as far as a YouTube video? Search this. I'll spell it slow. It's Dahilayat. D A H I L A Y A N Dahilayan Zipline Dahilayan Zipline Now that's something that you guys ought to try You guys ought to go to the Philippines and try that And besides The owner of that uh, Zipline Is my Father's best friend And if you're once you're done with that, you guys ought to go to Kamigin Island. Kamigin is spelled C-A-M-I-G-U-I-N. And or type in Kamigin White Island. Oh, that's something to go. Oh boy, that's a beautiful island. Actually, it's nothing there but white sand, you know white sand bar in the middle of the ocean you would love it I mean I've never known anybody that went to Pamigin Island and did not like it we always jokingly said Pamigin Island stands for come again get it come again Pamigin And the best place to stay in Kamigin, of course, is my dad's best friend's place, which is Paras Beach, P-A-R-A-S, P-A-R-A-S, Paras Beach Resort. And if you, uh, I'm sure they're also on YouTube or you could Google them I don't know if they have a website but they certainly are probably the best they were the best uh, resort in the island when I left but that was a long time ago so My dad was born in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and uh, when he was old enough to become the Great Lake, the Great Lake sailor, he, he sailed around the Great Lakes on a freighter ships. He did that for a while. After that, he became. Uh, Freighter sailor or merchant marine, they call them. Not a navy, just you know, sailor sailing ships. He became a sailor on the high seas around the world. He started from a deckhand and worked his way into a chief engineer. Imagine that. Well, one day when he he and his ship landed in uh, Mindanao, Philippines, he just decided to just jump off ship. He loved the Philippines, really, 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 really loved the Philippines. Jumped off there and. Um, had no idea what he was getting into. To make the story short, he was in a little bit of a danger and a disadvantage. And he was mistreated by a group of people. And guess what? 
the small small little tiny little lady came to his rescue. That's right. My mom became his lady knight shining on armor. Lady knight shining armor. There you go. So my mom went over there, tiny petite little girl, drove everybody out and rescued him. It's kind of a funny story because my mom's dad sent my mom to the big city to pick up some supplies. Well, to my to my grandpa's surprise, what what did my mom brought home? <laughs> you guessed it. She brought home a white man. <laughs> <laughs> and this was the time <laughs> this was a time when it was a different time then especially back in the Philippines where you know white people was as rare as gold oh can you just imagine the, the look of the face of my my Lolo Lolo stands for uh, Lolo stands for Grandpa. That's and you imagine the expression on his face. My mom bringing home a white man. Yeah, there you go. My mom was a teacher when she was single, I guess. Well, all said and done, many, 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 many years later. They resided in the island of Kamigin, and my father was one of the pioneering uh, person to try to build a resort in the island. My dad saw the potential of that island 50, 60 years ahead of everybody. Never got to finish it though. Pretty sad. But even in the process of my dad building that resort, all it was was in a, a swamp next, you know, a swamp near the beach, which my dad filled it in cleared it while my dad was in the process of building this place people from around the world flocked to our house I remember when I was a little boy we had people from around the world of all races colors sizes As I remember as a little boy, we always have revered the Australians to be, well, uh, as the eyes of a little boy, I, I saw the Australians as giants. I mean, man, they were big. There you were, they were humongous people. more than a number of people have been married because of my dad's matchmaker ability and my mom I guess my dad was known back then worldwide by just the word of mouth that you know hey if you ever visit the Philippines go to Kamigian Island and uh, there'll be a guy named there uh, a guy named Jack who's German a real nice guy and I 
had a wonderful childhood growing up in the island just like the villagers did it was kind of I've always kind of lived in somewhat of a both worlds our house was as modern as a house could be we had running water electricity but as soon as I stepped out of the house I was in a village and in a village life a village game village people by the way we call them barrio barrio over there so as soon as I step out of the house, I was totally in a different world. Even the school was different. It was kind of like going out to play with my friends. You know, I, I was one of the villagers. But as soon as I left home, It was a completely different world. When I was a little boy, I had, believe it or not, I had blonde hair. So me and my brother were... We looked different, I guess. Our village or our barrio was so small that everybody knew each other and I must have slept in every houses in that barrio ate every houses Amherst, Oberlin. Well, I suppose need a bath. You seriously need a bath, Blue. Which I gotta look up my video. When was the last time Blue? Hey, can somebody get out there tell me when the last time I washed Blue? It was somewhere around the 12 or 13, right? So I got like 14 more days before I can give Blue a bath. Catch you guys later. Have a good and godly day, everybody. <laughs>